if I was going to say evaluate using the half angle formulas, then basically you would come up and you'd say, well, then based on my sheet of paper, I know the cosine of a half angle is equal to 1 plus cosine of theta divided by 2. Now there's some interesting things on this formula. It is not plus or minus. OK? You said it's plus or No, it's not plus or minus. So don't write plus or minus. Because if you're writing plus or minus, then I know you're not paying attention, right? Yeah. So don't write the plus or minus. The plus or minus refers to where the angle theta over 2 is, in which quadrant. Is that positive oh. or negative? So if we're using this formula to evaluate this, then you guys would be OK with me writing this assessment. Theta over 2 is equal to 22.5. Yes? OK, now which quadrant is 22.5 in? First. First quadrant. What do we love about the first quadrant? It's all positive. Everything's positive. So therefore, we're not going to write the negative. Do we even need to write the positive? No. No, we can just. OK? Because now we know, we, we assume that it's always going to be positive. So unless we're corn, corn to theta over 2. OK? Um, now, the problem is the formula. So here's cosine of 22.5. But that's the half angle. The formula doesn't use the half angle. The formula uses the real angle. So if theta over 2 is 22.5, then what is theta? Right, so multiply by 2 on both sides, and you get 45 degrees. So now, let's plug it in. Well, it's already divided in half for you. Hmm? Yeah, it's already divided in half, yes. OK. So now let's go ahead and rewrite this as 1 plus the square root of 2 over 2 divided by 2. And then what we have is a complex fraction under a radical. Now fortunately, last class period, we refreshed ourselves with complex fractions. If we don't like the complex fractions, we can get rid of it by multiplying by the common denominator. So the common denominator, look at, these, look at all the denominators. 2, 1, and 1. The common denominator is 2. So multiply by 2, guys, on the top and the bottom. When you do that, so I'm going to go horizontal and vertical since I don't have enough space. Um, actually, what I'll do is I'll go down below, and then I'll go right. So when I do that, I now get, make sure you apply distributive property there. You get 2 plus the square root of 2 over 4. Now, also last class period, remember the square root of 9 minus square root of 4, right? idea of radicals? Is it OK for me to break up the radical in the numerator and the denominator when it's a cross division? When it's a cross division? Yes. It's fine. OK? So that's fine. Or a multiple choice answer might rewrite it, rewrite it as a product as well. So you're dividing, you can't put right on the final bottom, so you're dividing. Yeah, since so you're divided by 2, the same thing as multiplied by 2. All right.